All right, I spent a good chunk of yesterday and a little bit of today going through all the dead outs and I removed all the bees and all the junk that was in there. And I don't really have any freezer space to put all this honey because these frames are all full of honey. There's, you know, 16 frames per hive and they're pretty much filled with syrup honey. So I can't just extract it. It's not like honey, honey, it's bee food. So I opened it all up and I'm letting the sun hit it. I, I don't want this to mold. I, I don't want it to, to go bad. So I'm gonna let the sun hit it for a couple days and, and maybe dry out. There's probably some bee carcasses in there. It'd be nice if they dried up and instead of you know getting kind of rotted. So I'm gonna leave them like this for a little while. But right now the the order of business is to get into the survivor hive. So as I said in the last video, this is an Adrian daughter, which means it's a Balboa great-granddaughter. Uh, this hive came from Adrian in 2019. I made a nuke from Adrian, put it over here in a resource hive. That resource hive made it through the winter into 2020. It survived through 2020, graduated to a full-size hive on July 5th of 2020. And then this hive made it through winter of 2021, the winter that killed everybody else this hive made it through. The thing I don't know yet is if we have a queen in there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at any frames. I have not been in there, so I'm a little nervous. I'm actually very nervous. Like I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a nervous person right now. Not only uh, am I nervous that I'm not going to find a queen, it's I haven't put my hands in a beehive since last October. So, you know, it's like my first inspection of the year. I'm feeling rusty and uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You know, I didn't bring any smoke. Am I going to need smoke? Just checking the top inner cover here. I don't see an obvious queen up here. Take all the sugar out of here. That's a good cluster. We got pollen. There's pollen. There's a waggle dance happening right there. So she has pollen on her legs and she's surrounded by bees and she's waggle dancing for them. All right, let's have a look. A little nectar, a little honey. That side's empty. Plenty of food in here. It's all just capped, capped honey. Okay, I have not seen eggs yet. This is where the ball is over here though. So I'm, I'm thinking it might be this frame if there's any brood in here. This is where that uh, waggle dancing bee was going down, so. in focus. There it is. She's right there. And oh, she looks so good. That is so, so exciting. I'm shaking right now. Yeah, there's eggs in here and larvae. I think she just started laying because there are eggs in cells. Unless there's brood on the other frames, but she's, she's right there. We have eggs and we have a queen. 
Let's see if there's brood on these, these other frames right here. Don't see eggs on this frame. So she just started. There's no capped brood yet. Some larvae over here. She laid over here. All right, so she, they, they've got larvae. All right, there's no capped brood yet, but there are some larvae in there. I think the other thing is there was just no pollen. And now they're, they're starting to find pollen. Let's see if they got anything on this outer frame. So they got a frame of bee bread here. This colony's got food, it's got bee bread, it's got a laying queen. I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna give them an empty frame right next to where the queen's laying, or a semi-empty frame. She's laying this frame now, and this is a pretty empty frame right there, so she could fill this right up. Look at that. That's all drawn comb and empty, so it's gonna go right here. Let the bees clean those cells out and go crazy. All right, I'm just gonna quickly look at the bottom box. There's probably not a lot going on down here. There's not as many bees as I thought, but they're really strong looking. Yeah, bottom board looks pretty clean. There's a lot of sugar on it, but they kept their hive clean all winter. There are hardly any mites down here. I'll leave them as they were. All right, so because we had the varroa problem in the rest of the bee yard, and I know that there was a lot of varroa in here in the fall, even though I did treat, um, I don't know how much varroa was in this hive. They obviously survived, so probably not much. Um, I don't know if they're, you know, varroa resistant or sensitive, or they did a good job cleaning. I don't see any mites. I didn't see any on the bottom board but that doesn't mean they're in there, they're not in there. So, so this hive still has a couple of months to get through that are gonna to be tough. Um, we still have bad weather in April and we can have snow in May. So um, I'm going to give them some Apivar strips right now and hopefully that'll knock down any mites that are in the hive. That queen will be laying and um, hopefully this hive, you know, gets into the warmer weather with a strong colony. So I'm just going to put two strips in here. Hopefully this gets them through the next couple of months. They, these, so these strips are going to stay in for 42 days, which will take us into May um, when I get the new bees. And by then we should have nectar flowing. I can take the strips out. The thing is, this is not going to ever be a production hive this year. The hope is that the queen starts laying, produces some frames of eggs, and then I can do some splits and propagate this survivor colony. That's what I want to do. So um, I'm just trying to get them strong so that, uh, you know, I can make more bees out of this hive. All right, she made it. We have a queen in the hive and she's laying eggs. Um, I don't know how strong she is because it looks like she just barely started laying. There's no capped brood yet, but she is, she's laying eggs. There are eggs and there are some tiny little larvae in there. So it looks like they're on the way. Um, it just got warm. So it, it, it's been cold. There's been snow on the ground up until like two days ago. So hopefully that was sort of the, the signal to get going. Um, plus I did see that bee with pollen coming in and waggle dancing to hopefully tell her sisters where to go find more pollen, and that might be a trigger as well to, to get that queen laying. I'm not worried about resources. There's tons of bee bread in there. There's a lot of honey, nectar, syrup, etc., from the fall that's left over. So they're filled, they're fine. Um, I did do the apivar strips. I want them to be mite free in you know 42 days. That's that's when I'm gonna start doing splits basically. So this could be perfect timing. Um, the ape of our strips will come out right around the time I get my other packages. And hopefully she's got a couple frames of brood in there and she's laying eggs and things are ramping up because once the packages come in and I know that I have laying queens in the packages, I can start splitting this hive and using the package bees as resources to help build some nukes over here. So a lot of stuff will be happening 
in about 45, 50, 60 days from now. So th things are things are looking up. Um, you know, it's a sad time, but it's a time to start over. It's a time to start over and get stronger uh, from what I've learned from this experience. So lots of new stuff coming, um, lot, lots of new things coming. So stay tuned and uh, let's let's get the let's get the season started. Be in my face. Talk to you later.